Individual textures in the shader tree now have a GL display channel. If it is disabled, the image will not be visible in the GL viewport, allowing you to optimise how an object will be displayed. Materials now have a GL colour channel that overrides the colours in the GL viewport. This is useful when modelling objects that have lots of different parts, and you want to colour code each part without affecting the render. The autosave function now has a UI that will appear 10 seconds before the defined autosave period has elapsed. During that 10 seconds you have the option to cancel the autosave if you wish, which might be useful if the scene is large and you don't want to be interrupted. If you don't cancel it, the autosave files will be saved incrementally to the defined backup directory. It's also now possible to embed a thumbnail image into a Modo scene. By selecting the scene item and clicking on the set thumbnail button, you'll be given the option to save either the current GL viewport, the current preview image or the last rendered image. This image is then viewable in the preset browser as Modo scenes can now be viewed and loaded from it. It's also now possible to create a template scene that can be loaded from the preset browser. By simply changing the file extension to .lxt, the scene will load as a new untitled scene ready to be saved wherever you want. Context menus in the 3D viewport no longer change the selection mode when you right click on a particular component. And finally, the texture locator properties form has been reduced in length to make it easy to use. It has been rearranged and controls hidden based on projection settings, greatly reducing the amount of visible controls. Thank you.